guys, um, so, sorry it's been such a long time since I have put up a vlog, um, it's just been a really, really crazy month, um, going to doctor appointments, and, um, my little cousin was born, and just have been feeling really, really crappy lately, and it's just been really frustrating, um, I, sorry, I'm really out of breath, too, um, I have been looking for a doctor to, my hair's a hot mess now, um, I've been looking for a doctor to finally diagnose me with POTS or dysautonomia, um, because right now it's sort of like an unofficial diagnosis and um, I need to get diagnosed and start getting some sort of treatment. Um, so I've been looking for a doctor for that and me and my mom were trying to decide if it would be better to just go to Mayo Clinic and try and get diagnosed there um, or what. So. Um, I put in a phone call to Mayo Clinic, and um, we're working on that, but I also looked and saw that there is a doctor, like, an hour away from me that I can go to, and they specialize in POTS, so um, I'm going to try there first, and if I have no luck there, um, we're going to go to Mayo. Um, my blood pressure recently has been very, very POTSy. Um, I own a blood pressure monitor thing, it's by Omron, um, it's the IntelliSense one, I don't know, looks like this, it's just this little guy, it's just a little cuff, um, and I pretty much have it with me at all times. I bring it with me. Um, so I've been tracking that. And I have an app on my phone that I can put my blood pressure readings in. I don't know where I put my phone. Oh, there it is. Um, so I have my app. And it is called BP Monitor. And it just looks like this. And when you open it up, it has um, where you can put in your, sorry, I'm trying to get better lighting. There it is. Um, you put in your systolic, diastolic, um, pulse, body position, um, measurement arm, and measurement time. And you can put in, like, medications and, like, um, notes and stuff like that too. So I've been tracking that and you can like it puts it into charts and like max, min, and average and stuff like that. But yesterday I was um, I had blacked out and then I had passed out later on in the day and I checked my blood pressure after like I woke up and it was 72 over 38. My pulse was 45. So that sort of makes sense that I passed out. Um, and then later on that night, I was laying down and my blood pressure was 87 over 53. My pulse was 83. And then I sat up and my blood pressure shot up to 109 over 67 and my pulse went up to 101. And then I stood up and my blood pressure dropped to 79 over 45 and my pulse was 117. So I went from being bradycardic like an hour or two before to um, regular laying down and then a little bit like very very little tachycardic and then very tachycardic um, when I stood up and um, so I've been having problems with that but I've been um, tracking it really really well and um, making sure to get a lot of salt 
and and yes, this is a huge bag of sea salt that I keep. I literally it is on my night table. Um, so I've been doing that, and I've been researching a lot on the different medications that I use to treat POTS, and I looked at a list, and I'm, I've literally either, um, I'm either on it right now, or I've been on over half of the list of medications that are tried. Um, I've been on Wellbutrin, I've been on Prednisone, I've been on um, DDAVP, I've been on um, Minadrine, Salt Pills, um, and there, there's like five other ones that I've been on. Um, vasoconstrictors, SSRIs, just a whole wide variety of things, and nothing has worked for me. Um, so I'm really, really trying to get a diagnosis so that from there I can try um, something that I know works for me and it has like zero side effects is um, saline treatments. And that's pretty controversial controversial in the um, doctor community of um, dysautonomia because... It is. It can be expensive, um, and it's not. You know, it's not just a pill that you can take. Um, it's something that you either have to go to the hospital weekly or biweekly or um, you know, or bimonthly or you know whatever, and get hooked up and sit there and do saline treatments or you have to go through a procedure to get either a port or a pick line and then you can do them at home. So it can be expensive and it um, is not the easiest thing to do. Um, so that's why it's not used super commonly among everyone. but. Um, when you've tried pretty much everything else and nothing is even like working at all like I've taken a whole bunch of meds and nothing has even like it's not even like oh it works okay in the beginning and then it stops working like nothing has worked so um, I'm really really trying to get this done um, I've researched that my hospital has um, IV therapy and um, home care nurses, so I can do either or, um, so I have all that set up, I just need the, um, I need a doctor that will help me, and I need a diagnosis, and I need, you know, to talk with them about it, and just try and figure things out, because I can't live like this anymore, I have enough going on with you know, my pituitary and my fibromyalgia and all that going on that I don't need to constantly feel like I'm going to pass out. Like right now, I'm like super tired and just feel like I'm going to pass out um, any second. So it's really hard because it also takes away my independence to be able to drive and it takes away my independence to you know, just be able to get out of the house. Um, currently, I'm using a wheelchair for, um, you know, going places, and it's really hard to be in a wheelchair and have people stare at you, and, I mean, it's just difficult, especially when you know that there are ways that you can, like, I don't know, it's hard to explain, because half of the reason that I'm in there is because of my chronic pain and that it hurts to stand for long periods of time, but another reason is the blood pressure and that when I go from laying to sitting or sitting to standing, like if I sat up right now, or if I stood up right now, 
um, my pulse would skyrocket and my blood pressure would go down. So, um, a normal person's pulse is anywhere between, like, 65 and, like, 95, um, 95 or 100, and mine is anywhere between 40 to, like, 140, um, so it's, it can be bradycardic some days, and that makes me really, really tired. Um, and it can be tachycardic some days, and that makes me really spacey and um, jittery and nauseous. And I've al I'm have i always nauseous, and I get really bad abdominal pains. And it just it affects everything. It affects every part of my body. And, well, that was weird. Um, and it just takes away... Um, all of my independence that I have, and I don't have very much to begin with. So, um, I've really been trying to um, be really good with my meds, and I'm trying to get back on my growth hormone, and just trying to be really proactive with trying to get some answers and finally, you know, get treatment for this. So that's pretty much what I've been doing lately. I just wanted to give you guys an update. Um, like I said, my baby cousin was born. I actually went and visited him today. He is adorable, and he is one of the reasons that I'm still, like, up in spirits and um, not as depressed as usual because he is just so cute. Um, so that's good. And then, um, I've been going to therapy on Thursdays, which is the only reason I have the car, um, and, yeah, so I've just, I've been really busy with, um, making phone calls and trying to get my health under control and then resting, and I've been Skyping with people, and, um, I've just been really busy with, like, health issues and stuff like that. But I promise I will be making more videos soon. Also look out for um, a new channel that I'm doing with a few other people. Um, we don't have a name for it yet, um, but hopefully we will set it up soon. It's about um, people with chronic illnesses and um, if you guys have ever heard of the five awesome Potsies, it's going to be sort of along that line. Um, only in a broader sense, and um, all of these people are going to have chronic illnesses along with um, mental illnesses, such as depression, eating disorders, self-harm, anxiety, um, bipolar disorder, stuff like that. So keep an eye out for that. Um, I'm really excited about that, and um, I will see you guys really, really shortly, hopefully. And hopefully I will have either an appointment with the doctor or hopefully, cross his fingers, um, hopefully I will have some answers. Um, I love you guys very, very much. And don't be afraid to follow me on my Tumblr or my Instagram um, or leave me a comment below. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you really, really soon. Bye!